you actually talked a little bit about it. What were some of the problems that you had before we came on board? We, we had no room for anything. We originally just were going to get this particular system to manage our application documents, and that was strictly the 51 filing cabinet, because we have to keep those documents forever. Um, then, you, like you said, you had that house out yeah. back here that was full of all the reports. But then, what kind of, I mean, because of all that, the paper and the location and stuff, what kind of problems did your customer service reps have trying to, when they had a new person come in, Trying to get well, all that well, well, you had to go copy every all their information. You had to copy it, and then you had to put it in a folder, and then you had to file it, turn it in at the end of the day, and then you had to file it the next morning after it got processed. And now we just eliminated all that those steps because they strictly just scan it while the customer's standing in front of them, and then they it's direct <laughs> it where it needs to go, and we're done with it. Well, that, it's over. What about when you had customers call and you had to find? Meters? Yeah, like we get a lot of calls, like, you know, they think their meter's been misread. And sometimes it's strictly from maybe where when we did the set order, maybe we keyed in the wrong set reading. And I can call up those orders where we set those customers up but sitting I mean, at my desk. Before you had to go to the file cabinet. Oh, yeah, well, before sometimes the file cabinet or to the greenhouse. <laughs> And so that that has been life changing for me. Like I said, when it first came in, we were strictly looking for the application documents. And then I'm going, OK, we can print everything we have. We can scan everything we have. And we did. Yeah. And was it, there kind of an emotional toll that your staff had? I mean, trying to keep up with all the work and filings? And yeah, but it was hard to find because like anything else, you're going to misfile things. Um, and so now it's it's where it says it's going to be when you put it in. And it's not checked out and put someplace else. <laughs> no, it's not. What, like, what did you look at before we came on board? Or what kind of other solutions did you think about? We, 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 we had just kept buying filing cabinets has been our solution <laughs> and buying binders and paper boxes and, and that. But this one has solved all of our office's problems. What were you kind of anticipating when we came in that first time? I didn't know what to expect because I'd never been part of it. But once I saw what it could do and the what it could free it up, did. it's like, this will work. And it was, I mean, you had to train your employees how to do it. And it was a different mindset. But now most of them will tell you they wouldn't go back at all. They wouldn't go back to not having it for anything. It's kind of like at a doctor's office where you know you walk in and you give them your id and everything and they scan it they kind of do the same thing here they people do. come in with their lease or their ids they scan it right then they give it back to them mm -hmm. they don't have to go make copies all that type process and you're able to pull it up they call up with a question you're able to retrieve it right then without yeah. even getting off the phone because probably before you had to either make them hold go yeah, get final yeah. documents or say you'd call them back and yeah, everything and we did so it was a more time consuming process yes what about uh you talked about your reports right now you just print them to a pdf and then we just drag and the drop system. them we drag and drop them and, and how we, do those get to the accounting though accounting can look at them from our office i mean from their office because they have access to it well nobody has to um Print and copy or print and copies and, and do that kind of thing. Um, same way with all the reports I do at the end of the month, they're in there. They can look at them if they have the rights. And it, it's it's been really great because they used to, at the end of the month, I had to print like 10 or 12 copies of the stats and, and pass them out. And now we just email them back and forth on sometimes if they want their own copy or whatever we just go ahead and get them from that and email it to them if they want them or if they you know look back and they go oh well, i wanted last month or whatever i can just grab it out of there and email it to them what about some of the templates we set up because uh, like christy was just here she's got several templates that she does all of her bank statements and everything with yeah one one thing we set up too was uh we keep up with how what the customers what our contact clerks do they 
they keep up with how many orders they take and everything during the day because we keep up so we know okay we need to add more people because we're having more growth and we can handle and stuff like that so they keep up that and he set up a template that they can just put that in each each day and then we grab them off at the end of the month and then i know how many each part did and i can keep have it running tally of how we're growing and it's stored every day automatically in the M file so if she wants to look at it on a daily basis she can pull something up but the clerks have it there and then every month they save it out we get different types of bank deposits and that kind of thing and we have to have a running total at the end of the month so we can balance and she has where she can just put that in daily and then she knows what day she might be off if it doesn't balance to that point so that's been very helpful what kind of benefits do you think your customers have seen well it being able to wait on them right then find the information right then and not having to call them back saying hold on i'll have to call you back uh, let me and i can only look at it most of the time i can look at most things right then sometimes it has to have a meter reread then no i can't do that right away <laughs> that one they'll have to wait but if it's something we've done from this office and we have it in M files, I can find it and we can fix it right then. Okay, we, we were able to, like I said, we had 51 filing cabinets we did away with and we needed a space to put our telephone operators. And so they wound up where the filing cabinets used to be. So that we were able to employ four new people in that spot where we used to have Filing cabinet. We kind of went through a transition when we first got rid of them. You kind of had a working space there that you didn't yeah. have, and now it's the uh, four offices that we have. What would happen if we uh, t if they took the system away from you? I'd go home. <laughs> so is this system completely web based? No, no. It's uh, what they what you have here. It's uh, on it's an on premise server. It can be web based and it can be hosted in the cloud. Or it could be a dual system. It could be hosted in the cloud and on premise at the same time. It has both a desktop interface and they haven't implemented it, but you can also have a web interface for it also. And you can get to it, especially if you have the web interface, uh, you can get to it from your uh, iPhones or uh, Droid mm -hmm. phones. So with the, as far as the hardware requirements go, is it, the cloud-based servers, or do we actually are we going to have to get some server upgrades? Either one. I mean, uh, in some cases, and it depends on how we want to configure it. You may not even need another server. Uh, we can what you call say spin up another uh, vault, which uh, can be totally separate from the vault that Regina uses. But at the same time, people have permissions to both vaults. Uh, like for HR information, so if Regina wanted to, you could give permissions to uh, managers to see only employee, certain employee data uh, concerning people in their department. The security would all be separate, the uh, everything, so you wouldn't even have to really spin up another vault. To do, I mean, another system, we could just create a separate vault on the same system, and then all you have to, all all that you require anyway is to purchase whatever licenses you need for your particular staff. We, we've got a, a very large amount of, in our archives that need to be digitized and scanned yeah. in and put in the system. So I'm just kind of, I have a little bit of a concern as far as the amount of server space that would be dedicated to us. We, yeah, we just have a conversation with Dale to decide whether it should be in the cloud or if he wants to spin up the server and storage uh, on premise or at a server farm. Okay. So and y'all do y'all custom build the templates to yes. each department? Okay, good. So for a drawing or a sub you know, you could put a subdivision name on there, a plat number, you know, any kind of that kind of data about that drawing that you want, um, and have that stored and be able to retrieve it with any of that metadata. Okay. Well, if you actually get the AutoCAD files or the drawings, um, you can use the free AutoCAD viewer within them files. And so when you pull it up, you can go through the different layers and everything right there in them files too. We're CIMS, 
We have a little bit of a history. We're 25 years old this year, last January 15th. So I'm proud to have made it 25 years in business. So, so many small companies uh, start and fail in the first year or two years. And we started really focused on document management, document imaging from that point. Uh, and really to look, provide a solution to our customers that increase their effectiveness and their profitability and really return an ROI to their bottom line. And I think Regina would say that we have increased our <laughs> efficiency and, and, we have. and everything uh, in this. We have a lot of certifications uh, in business process consulting. Uh, CDIA is a certified document imaging architect. MSC is the Microsoft certifications, and then we're certified with all the vendors that we represent also. We uh, cover the whole spectrum. So it's not just document management, but the workflow process. We, uh, like with uh, Regina here, we provided a scanning, a piece of scanning software that allows us to collect all the metadata as you're scanning the document and then release it into uh, the document management system without having to go back into the document management system and do that work. We set up the back file scanning process uh, for her that she talked about, but we also provide that as a service uh, to customers so that if, you know, if they don't want to mess with everything in the history, we can do that for them. Uh, we do the e-forms, we provide print management software, and uh, if we have integration work to do between your line of business systems and the document management, we provide that also. So in part of this, we have what we call the CIMS automation process. And that's both the discovery, which is the front end, the strategy, and the implementation. And you know, we've kind of in the discovery uh, listed the five questions that we talk about, the who, what, when, where, and how, and why. Uh, the AEIOU, part of uh, the strategy, which is you know, helping you with the automation, the elimination of uh, extraneous tasks, improvement in your processes, optimize and understand your business. In the implementation, we go through all the configuration after we've dis done all this discovery and the strategy. We help with the training and then we do the rollout and work with your staff to help with the buy-in of the process. I wanna go back to the five W's for a minute because <clears throat> this is really, uh, critical and y'all can take this and you know take one of your documents and go through that but it's it's really important to understand when you're when we're talking about even just for the capture of the document and assigning the metadata we we really need to know who's going to use that information so they have the right privileges and set the, the security on the document what information does a person need again to assign that kind of security and also, but what kind of metadata does every every individual need to see as they look at the document or as they try to retrieve documents? You know, the engineering person, when they look at a drawing, wants to see a certain set of information, but the planner may need a different set of information. So that comes into the you know, what part of the process. The where, you know, where is this information located now? And then what are we going to do with it in the future? When and how often? you know, talks about <clears throat> when do they need access to this document? How quickly do we need to get it in the system? But also how often, how long do we need to keep that information? And then the why I think is one of the most critical pieces. Uh, why, does, why does this document exist? Why does this process exist? Uh, what is it? I've worked with several customers and, and saved them thousands to millions of dollars by just asking that one question. And that comes back to, <clears throat> well, one of them was the Department of Industrial Relations. We were going through, they were converting over to an electronic process, tax processing forms. And, you know, they had all these steps that a person would go through to get that information approved. And we kept asking this question, why do they need to do this? Why do they need this document? And we got to one document and asked the question and they said, you know, we really don't know why they need that document. Why, you know, everybody, actually we had this uh, last week when I was talking to uh, some of the girls upstairs, they were, had this report and I think it was Glenda actually. And uh, they hadn't even looked at it. It hadn't been in there and nobody had requested it for three months. But then all of a sudden they needed one document or something. But 
I asked the, we asked that question down there, and they went off and said, well, you know, we really don't need that. And if we don't do it, it's going to save us $100,000 a year by not just having to do that one step in the process. So, you know, in the pink there, you see, you know, part of this is to reduce, you've got a flow chart for your work processes. My goal is to help you reduce that flow chart, but also take what we call touch points out of that flow chart. So if we can do things within the system that automatically determine where that document is supposed to go or who it's supposed to go to, without somebody physically having to go in and decide that, then we can speed up your business process dramatically. The next part of that <clears throat> is by doing that, up in the blue, we talk about your return on investment. By automating and documenting and, and codifying your business processes into the system, we can really dramatically typically speed up your business. Uh, one of the ways is we can assign time frames to how long it can take a person to uh, provide their approval or, or whatever action they need to take on a particular document. So instead of it sitting in a virtual in or an inbox for you know, two or three or four or five days a week and not be touched, we can say this document, this, this point in the process needs to be done within two days. And if it's not, then we can escalate it automatically. So that, that's where we come in and, and really help in speeding your processes. And from that, we found that with customers with 100 or more employees, we can save them typically over $400,000 a year, every year. We've helped a lot of people with this. Cigna Health Service up in Nashville, Shelby County Juvenile Court, Child Support. Uh, we worked with Huntsville Utilities. We've created uh, processes and applications for our customers, uh, from uh, health departments for the state and counties, which is the CDCIS, one court for drug and mental uh, health courts. Uh, we worked with Shelby County, Halsey Groceries here in uh, Madison, uh, across the board to help them become more efficient and have more control over their documents. One thing we're not going to do, and we're not trying to do, it, it gets confusing because we talk about managing your documents and managing your information is, we're not talking about trying to replace your accounting system, your HR system, or even here, we're not, we're not going to replace local government. That's a whole different process and what we're talking about. What we are doing is bringing control and order to all your documents, your videos, your pictures, your um, <clears throat> presentations, everything else that's not in your database is what we manage and help you gain control of. Uh, but in a lot of places, even though we're not replacing your line of business systems, we can provide what we call the collection point for stove pipes. You know, each one of these is their separate system a lot of times there's not a lot of coordination between the, the different various systems that a, a company or enterprise uses. But having the document management, because we can collect data from all these different systems that present it, we provide that connection point. These are a lot of the different uh, processes we've worked with uh, <clears throat> from, let's say, City of Decatur, UT, Hosea Utilities, Halsey Food Services, um, Vanderbilt, Mississippi State Department of Health, all different areas. And we've been doing it for 25 years. So our core values, we want customer satisfaction above all, I think. Mm -hmm. uh, I've worked real hard to help out with Regina here and her department. They typically call me and I may be on the road, but as soon as I get to a computer, I try to get back to them and we solve whatever problems they have. We want high quality. And so I'm always kind of looking to see how we can improve what they do here. Um, <clears throat> we have a can-do attitude and we have proven solutions. I only deal with the top solutions on the marketplace. Everything I have is in the tier one, tier two of the uh, Gartner Group ratings. And we work with them because we know these systems are backed up and they're going to be here for a long time. So if you like, we can schedule a 20-minute uh, discovery car call. And actually, I need to put that if you'd like to have that, but uh, I guess I know how to get in touch with everybody. But if you want, we can uh, set up a 20-minute discovery and come talk to you about your solutions.